Uh, no, Press actually, record. we had we on our. Okay. Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, your hostess, and we're here tonight again with Coachy Jason Carroll de Carolis from Bristol. And uh, we're back talking some hockey, right, Coachy? That's correct. So excited. Of course, I know nothing about hockey. So I'm painting um, Vancouver. Mm. I think we're wireless now. Yeah, hold yeah. on. So I can kind of get up. I do this now and then because people yeah. can't really see what I'm painting. I'm doing the. Uh, Canuck. Is that a whale or that a shark? That is a whale. That is not a shark. Doesn't That's a whale. Like a whale. Okay, I'm doing the uh, the Vancouver Canucks, and Coachy's doing like his uh, his the floor, jersey. like I jerseyed the Florida Panthers. So he's doing the Florida Panthers, and I'm going to be doing the Canucks, and we're going to learn a little bit about hockey tonight. Uh, we were going to do the Tampa Bay Lightning, but you said we already did We did them. that one the last show we did. Are they any good now, like so that we can have the Buccaneers and the Tampa? Uh, ever since the Lightning won the Stanley Cup, um, they had to make changes because of the salaries and um, did they win the Stanley salary. Cup the same year as Brady got the Buccaneers? No, no. no uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. I think no they were the only not ones, this right? time. No, but they did it. That was the first time. But wow. they, you know, the Buccaneers won it after the first time. Tampa won, and then the Lightning won the Stanley Cup again, beating Montreal, and now um, here we are. Um, I can't believe it. But yeah, but now of course Tampa Bay had to go through a, a big time situation where all the players decided to um, uh, have the loser salary. We got one who went to the Seattle, the new Seattle oh, Kraken. I didn't know and, that. Yep. Do they pay the hockey players good over there? They pay, yeah, they pay pretty good. Oh, Unfortunately, okay. they're they're come they're still on a Western Canadian road trip where they um, got shut a lot got shut out by Calgary, lost to Edmonton, and then they beat Vancouver Sunday night two to one. Jeez, I can't even believe it. Yep. So, oh my gosh! So, who are the two that are going to win it, or is it already right in? now? No, 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 no. It's only it's only um, March the fourteenth. Uh, the regular season doesn't end till April 29th. Is it the longest sport ever? It can be. This well, they were supposed to have gone to the Olympics, but um, God, it seems like news, hockey season's the yeah, longest well, out of everything. Well, unfortunately, in the Olympics, uh, Don, they didn't go because of the COVID rules and Dang. everything else, and so instead, it, that didn't work out for the better. And here they are. Uh, at least they're getting their games and everybody's starting to make up games. At least fans are starting to go to games again. And they um, were different because they were indoors, right? So they made a yes, big deal about yep. the mask and everything. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the teams in the United States got to continue with a full crowd while in Canada, they had to shut, they had to postpone games. They had to sh make their, no fans were allowed to go to some games. God. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, uh, Montreal is starting to get, uh, is still half capacity. Toronto is just about full capacity. Same with Ottawa, Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, and Winnipeg do have full capacity now. And they were like the last of the sports. What about wrestling? They must have put a kibbutz on that with the, you know. Um, well, with close. wrestling, well, they haven't, uh, the, the, the professional wrestling has not traveled to Canada yet. Okay. They've been into Saudi Arabia. But they that's have? That's yep. crazy. I didn't know that. No, oh my neither gosh. did I. I didn't know about that's that either, crazy. so. Um, oh, good. You got all your colors over there, yeah, right? I'm, already I'm doing this part's black, I think, right? Uh, think? Yep. Take it. Make sure you. And it really is a whale. Phone. Is it like a killer whale? Like one yeah, of those it is orcas? like a killer whale. Yes. Okay, it's like an orca mm -hmm. whale. Yep. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So who's um, who do you think is going to win the cup? As of right now, yeah. at the moment, it you know it's very it, 
I'm gonna knock on the door. Knock I didn't order any pizza, but yeah, we didn't order pizza this time. I mean, I, we couldn't get oh. it. It's like to come no. and knock on my door. Yeah, yeah. Three's company yeah, too. Well, well apparently mm -hmm. there is a knock going on in the back door. I can but hear the knock. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, folks, we're, we're doing a show. This is so fun. Um, so yeah. So who do you think? What about Edmonton? No good. Edmonton. Well, they started off strong. Then they struggled mightily. Then they had a coaching change. Dave, Dave Tippett. I don't even was know where fired. Edmonton is. Alberta, Oilers. Canada. It is way out there. Oh, it's it's Canada. It's way out oh, there. Oh, I thought it was like Ohio. No, oh, mm -mm. you're kidding. I didn't know nope. that. Nope. Um, oh. Vancouver, Vancouver Canucks, the one that she's doing right now, went through a um a, a hall where they had their head coach Travis Green. You know, they were going nowhere. They had trouble winning games. So. After someone threw a jersey onto the ice, a fan. That's not good. No, that wasn't good. And you they know when that's never good. Right? Someone can get hurt, but that tells you it's a. We've got it's some a, and knock on my door. It's a, it's a coaching change. To... So they put. <laughs> so they brought along Bruce Boudreau. Who's that? He's now the head coach. Oh, he is. Where yep. did he come from? He he's coached the Anaheim Ducks. He's coached the Minnesota Wild. He's coached the Washington Capitals. Oh, you're kidding. Is he you good? Know, he's mean, a very good coach. Why do um, they keep moving him? Because he loses. Uh, because yeah. I guess the general manager uh, thinks that you have to win. You have to win games. That uh, happens in all sports, though, yeah. I, right? Yeah, they hate it when it comes to games uh, you lo uh, when you can't win. Then, you know, if you have a deep streak, then the fans are going to start going crazy, and then they're going to start going on social media saying to the general manager, uh, I'm sorry, okay, uh, you need to move on eventually if you don't you know after they give you the boost of confidence that your job is safe and who's the hockey commissioner is there just one <clears throat> Gary Bettman no the ju well there is one but there's uh the assistant commissioner is Bill Daly does it move a lot does his job change a lot or is it no he's been in it for no a while? it's oh he's been in it for a while and are those people professional hockey players turned uh no mm -mm. so they're nothing like the basketball no guys uh, Gary like Bettman was the uh was one of the uh, assistant commissioner in the NBA believe it or not for really a while. yep God Yep, and, and then he took over for uh, the NHL. But right Jeez. now, they're preparing for the NHL trading deadline, which is one week from today, March 21st at 3 o'clock. That's when it is? And, the, God, and, and what I mean by that is um, you, so have to, you have to submit your trade, your trade deadline by um, 3 o'clock in order for and it to go it? through. Jeez, yep. I can't now, so it. far on the trading block, yeah, who's um, on the trading block? Dying to there's know. only been one tra big trade so far, and that was um, when Tyler Toffoli was traded to the, um, uh, from the Montreal Canadiens to the Calgary Flames for a couple players and a draft pick. So hmm. it's, it's been relatively quiet, quiet so far. But that can all, ch that can all change pretty quickly. It can? God, yep, between I love it. Yep, between now and one week from today on a Monday. It's so it, fun to watch. It's crazy. Oh, now, I know. It, it's, like, it's like at home. Well, at home right now, I have the whole list of who could be traded. You do? Or anything like that. Yep. So. No and, one for the Bruins will be traded, maybe? Um, they were talking about Jake DeBrusque. Really? Um, God. But the thing, the thing is with him, th he wanted out. He wanted, to tr uh, he wanted to be traded. Yeah. But um, it looks like they're not going to trade him if they're going to be a Stanley Cup contender, <clears throat> because yeah. they have turned the season around. Now. Oh, I can't wait to see who's going to be in it. This is fun. God. Yeah. Well. Love it. That's okay. Now. Of what course, about injuries? That could wreck it. Um. Well, we had someone who just got a two-game suspension come down from the league this after uh, this afternoon. Oh my God! Really? Yup. And it's a familiar player too, Austin Matthews, who plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah. They had an outdoor game yesterday, the Heritage Classic, out in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. That's where it is. Is that outdoors? That's where it was yesterday. On the ice, outdoors or inside? Mm, no, it outdoors. Is? Oh, that's fun. Outdoors. Oh, I love that. Yeah, well, there was only one problem with what the... What happened with the injury? Oh, no, he cross-checked somebody in the back of the neck. He did? Mm-hmm. That's not... No, that wasn't good. And the first thing I said yesterday, I said the league's going to review that. Can't he get kicked out? He can be suspended, which he did today. He did? Because it was his first offense. God. Ron, he only got two games for it. Jeez. He's, he's very lucky it was only two games because it actually should have been more than two for the way... He did it, but... Now, you can't knock down the ref, though. Like No, no, no. He didn't knock down a ref. Okay. He knocked down a player. He did? Yep. Knocking down the ref like the Boston guy was Oh, no. If you, if you ever do that with an official, that's... They banned him that's for what, life. Oh, no. It's 10 games automatically. They banned him for life. Paul Halloran. Yeah. Well, yep. No, you don't think they'll give it back to him? He's 20 years old. Nah. I, well, he'll probably learn his lesson now, and then 
he'll figure out the next time. But um, Brad, Brad Marchand's another one who likes to. Uh, he does? He, oh, he's been suspended eight times in his career. He's Bruins, right? Yup. Who am I thinking? Patrice. Patrice Bergeron? Yeah, he's Bruins he, too? God. He's Bruins too. He's the team captain. He plays smarter Where is than he Brad from Marsh. with a name like Patrice? It's kind uh, of Canada. Oh, he is? Okay, that's yep. cool. I like that. I mean, it'd be yep. Um, oh, you that's know, so cool. Yeah, it, it's just too bad for Austin Matthews. He, he leads the league in goals with four, 43. Jesus, that's crazy. Yep, but now uh, for one season, forty. This goals? season, Jeez, this season, and he still crazy. has over a month. He could get fifty goals. Maybe How many 55. goals a game does he get? Like hat tricks all the time? Average. Well, it depends. He's got that's an average of about over a goal a game. The way he's playing. Jeez, that's crazy. You know, and then so um, they'll want him. He'll be on if he ever wanted to be traded. No, Toronto's got him on a long-term contract. They do. Yep. And he, what's the highest paid hockey player ever? Alex Ovechkin. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Connor McDavid right now. Well, Gretzky and them guys didn't Gretzky, make a lot? no, they didn't back why? then. Why? Uh, because the NHL wasn't popular when it, was, when it came to money. That's why? Yep. So now they make big salaries? Of course. What did that guy make, the highest paid? Connor McDavid? Like he 30 makes million? About, no, about maybe 12, 13 million. Oh, no, no, hockey's not that crazy like baseball it or isn't? football. It isn't? God, no. why? I just said the thing, Be right, because they don't have as many fans. Yeah, they don't, they, don't go, they don't go stir crazy. I can't believe it. God. Now, on another note, speaking of injuries, um, God bless him, his soul, the um, little cute hockey player from Greenwich that had that accident. Um, question for you. Yeah. Do you have, are neck guards, um, what do you call it, required? Yeah. They are trying to. So that was just a bad thing. That was just that wasn't his. That was ever happened on the ice. Before? No, not like that in high school. No, and that was a fr it was a freak kind of an accident. Just doesn't it happen. Wasn't, that doesn't happen, and there was no way he did it on purpose. No. I saw the replay of it. Perfect. Okay. I love um, it. Yeah. Oh, you really saw it? They showed. They showed it, it on they TV. I showed it on the did? video. I wanted to see it, and did it was just. Did they ban the video by now? No. It's too scary. Mm -mm. Oh no? no. Really? Wow. Mm -mm. Nope. They oh, won't it just be in the felt video. so bad. It was so just like what they're trying to do thing. is they're trying to make everybody wear a neck brace, which I'm in favorable for in high school because, you know, it's not like College of the Pros that pros don't have to wear a neck guard. Pros or they do? don't have to. No. They don't, but they can. They can. Do most of them wear them? No. Uh, no. The only people now that they're it's mandatory is now they wear face shields for their helmets. Unless oh, I didn't you, know that. Unless you've been in the league for a long time, oh, where if you that if you weren't wearing your helmet and now with the new rule that came in you mm. don't have you don't have to wear a face shield okay because you came into the league at that point i didn't know that god that's that's so neat so yeah i was i was very uh, thought about all the, the hockey players that probably played with him you know it's just a sad thing that yeah happened. it so was sorry to the family and everybody i mean it happened early in the season that's crazy. It's never happened on professional ice before where someone's gotten slit like that. Oh, uh, I think we, there was, we've had, we've, yes, I remember who it was. And Clint, it's always Clint, near the goal. Clint right? Millard Chuck, the goaltender for the Buffalo Sabres, he took one skate right on the throat, the blade of it, and the blood was was flowing pretty bad. They got him okay though. They got someone uh, through the ice quick. He was out for about a, he was out for about six months. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Because he, so, he lost sport, a lot right? of blood. Yes. Is it one of the most dangerous sports other than horse racing and boxing? Um, hockey is more dangerous. Yeah, horse racing is pretty than, bad. Than anything. Yeah, horse racing. Horse racing is um, bad. Yeah, boxing. Horse, that's, well, horse racing, yeah, because uh, <laughs> they have to use that whip at the end. Oh, and, my God. And you never know. If you don't do it the right way, the jockey's going to fall, fall off the horse. And the guys are, like, smaller. They're way smaller than I am. Mm -hmm. They're mostly from Cuba. And these, well, Cuba? N well, most of, of these, them. most of these riders are from Mexico. Um, and little people. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they, they they won't bring up anybody else. They're teeny, and then they have these supermodel wives that are like six feet tall. I noticed when mm -hmm. I go to the races. It's so funny. Yeah, so and then of course oh, you got God. the owners. You got Bob Baffer, who, by the way, oh, is I love him. He yeah. signed my wallet. He signed. Yeah, he's also suspended too. He signed my wallet and no paper. Yeah. And he also so I handed him my wallet and he signed it right here. And I should have stopped using my wallet because now it's gone. Yeah, well, he's been suspended. Yes, he has for cheating on uh, which of the yes, last horse. Yes, on right? the last horse who died. What was the last one's name? I can't remember. I can't that. remember it, but he did. Oh, he did I the barely Kentucky remember Derby, the Kentucky Derby this past year. Yeah. Yep, and all of a sudden. Uh, they, they, he got caught with drugs, and that's why the yep. uh, race was stopped. I guess they tested him right away. And it's like any sport, though, right? They have that stuff with athletes all the time. It's just the horse can't talk. That's all. Right. Well, <laughs> it's okay. In, ho in hockey, you don't. You, I haven't seen anybody get caught with drugs. Believe it or not. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. That's that's the one good thing. About they're big partiers though, those hockey players, aren't they? Maybe not all of them. No, not all of them. But if they're if they're not careful, I know, they start partying like an animal. You know. My friend Alfred is friends with uh, Tuka. Tuka. Rask. Tuka Rask, who, by Rask. the way, who's now retired completely. He now. is like Tom Brady that just came back, or can he come no, back? Oh, uh, he can, but no, I think he I think he's already called it a retirement and now. It's Tuka Rask. Tuka Rask. And he's from where? He's from the Czech Republic. He is. They yep. have a big hockey following, Czech Republic. Oh, it's oh, Czech Republic is very popular in hockey. God, isn't that near where all the war stuff is right no, now? No, not Czech not, Republic. Okay. No, 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 no. Right, I'm bad at geography. No, no, R Russia unfortunately is discontinued hockey right now. So. Oh, from COVID. Uh, nope. From oh, what's going from on? What's going war. on? Yeah, yep. that's mm -hmm. hard to follow too. Yes. Oh my God. So you're going to Florida in two weeks. He's going to Florida. To a yeah. Tampa Bay game or to a, to no Lightning game, stuff. not not Florida Panthers, Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, because they're oh both teams are from Florida. Yeah, there's two hockey teams that oh. play in the NHL. How one, many? Oh, that's funny. I didn't one, know that. One Just plays two in Florida. One plays in Sunrise near Miami. Really? Oh, yep. okay. I didn't know that. And um, the other one is in Tampa, which is a much easier drive than going two hours from Orlando to Miami. It's like so. going to be from Orlando to Tampa is like an hour and a half, right? Yeah. About the, well, about an hour if there's no traffic. And you get a, you rent a car when you get down there. Yes. And oh, yes. So we already got fun. all that done. You but do. Yeah, we already took care of that. Everything's been taken care of. Like I said, it's so only, easy. But we are not allowed to discuss about Florida right now until I'm finished with high school sports. Until you're so. done with high school sports. For the winter. Oh my gosh. Now speaking of high school sports, that kid you have at Central, what's the basketball player's name? Donovan again? Klingen. Donovan Klingen. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he's a 10 senior. Left. He's really tall. Is he the tallest kid on the team? Seven foot two. Jesus. Can he get taller? I mean, he's 18. He could get taller, right? Nah, I doubt it. No. I think I think he's grown pretty much. He'll be playing college ball at the University of Connecticut. Now, is he good because he's tall or the whole thing? He's good. Oh, uh, well, darn the thing. whole darn thing right now. He really is. He, he looks real good, but hopefully we'll see how 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 many minutes he gets to play at UConn. God. Um, coming uh, next year or so. And how about the guy? Uh, oh God, he was another player from. Oh, I can't remember his name right now. Yeah. Oh, I know Frank Mazzucato, baseball. What happened to him? Is he doing good? No, yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't heard anything about him. I so. forgot he signed. I think he's from Holyoke. Oh, okay. Some Catholic. What's it called? Northwest Catholic, maybe. Oh, okay. I because, think he's uh, from there. Remember, baseball just started the free agency stuff. I again. can't wait to see what Frank's doing. I think he signed like eight million with like I, I can't even remember the name. Yeah, but I mean, well, all these Connecticut yeah, well, bumping out a lot yeah, of people. Don't get, get me going baseball because I'm not too happy how they were able to. Uh, Pull off a 162-game schedule. And then your Yankees or Red Sox? Red Sox. Oh, good. Just like me. I love it. Mm -hmm. And, and they, Bogarts and they, and they, is the only one like we got Yeah, left, guess right? who they're opening up with this year? The New York Yankees. Oh, yeah. God. Not on opening day. Yeah, it is opening In day. In Fenway? Yes. No, Yankee Stadium. Oh, it's at Yankee? It is? Yep. So no more Boston Marathon. In the, you know, that's what we no, there will be a Boston Marathon. They're going to have it. But the, the game will be in... Yankee. Um, the Boston Marathon's not normally till about uh, later on in April. They may go back to doing it's it. Usually, actually, no. They may day, yeah. they may do it in September again one more time. But if not, they'll do it in uh, April. If they oh need to. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yep. Now, do you go to? Um, do you enjoy Yankees Boston games? I have gone. I've seen them like play though, at both or? parks. It, like the going. fans, the fans can be very nasty though. The fans are terrible. If it's out of if it's out of reach. Yeah, even the Boston fans. They'll, are they'll terrible. look for they'll look for a, f a fight in the stands. Yeah, they do. That's uh, typical. You know what's funny, though? Someone said, even though the hockey players go crazy fighting, the fans don't, right? Or do they? Nope. That actually just happened uh, oh, last week. And is it always drinking that's the problem? That no, it was all... more like, haha, this team won such and such. Nashville and San Jose had fans fighting in San Jose, where the final was 8 nothing for the Predators on that last Saturday night. And really? It was ugly. Yeah. The fans were fighting. I had to look on YouTube to see how bad it was. And it was I bad. Said, Oh yeah, the fans had nothing better to do at the game. They get into a scrap. So they do have scraps with the fans. They do have fans do get into scraps with other fans at the game. I'd say the, I don't know which one's the worst. Um, uh, no, I don't know. No, Yankees, uh, Red the Sox. worst fight. Oh no, I've seen uh, teams got into a real bad, nasty scrap before. So you that's have? nothing. Yeah. God, I can't believe it. What's it, the best hockey game you've ever seen live? Anyone? Um, when Maybe the Whalers be... played the Montreal Canadiens, when they uh. When it was four to three, uh, when Montreal was up three nothing in the third period, we were also down in the dumps. We're like, "Yep, our season's over." And then all of a sudden, Hartford yeah. scores three in a row. They tie it late, and then um, in overtime, I remember this too. Darren Turcott had a rebound and he put it in the net to win it four three in overtime. We were going crazy. 
really? that night. I it lost was my wild. voice. Where was the game again? In Hartford You're at the kidding. Civic Center. And we, we didn't like Montreal especially too much because... Uh, Hartford has good games. I like going to the yeah. games there. <clears throat> well, they had Patrick Waugh playing that night, too. He's good. used to play. Oh, what, yep. about, what about the kid from Farmington? Is he still playing, Nick? Benino? Yeah. Yeah, he's still he's in the league. He's still in the league? He's still in the league. He's playing for the San Jose Sharks. So he's not with Tennessee anymore? No, he's he not was. with Nashville. No, he moved on. How many times did they trade him? A lot. He's been a free agent. He has? I'm sorry, two times free agent, one time he was traded. Really? Yep. I can't believe it. Benino, did he win a Stanley Cup? I think he won one. I think and they he did. He won one with Pittsburgh. Then he almost won one with Nashville, but then um, unfortunately uh, Pittsburgh took care of them I in six games. It. So yeah. how, many, how about Minnesota? Are they any good? They, they... Um, Minnesota was off to a great start, and now Minnesota's been not playing so hot. Slacking. No, it's not, it's not been a matter of slack, and it's been called, you know, not scoring enough. Really? So they're trying to, uh, just like any other teams, they're trying to make a trade now. And there's really not a lot of big uh, hockey, I mean, you really don't have a lot of, oh, five minutes, it's perfect. You, they don't have a lot of high scores in hockey, right? Have you ever had like a nine, We've seven? had a, no, we had a game not too long ago where yeah. a game ended in a final score of 10 to seven. Seriously, I've never heard of it. It's usually like three, two, two, zero. Two, zero, it? no, uh, we've had a team score, we've had some games where teams have scored nine in one, on one team, one, uh, one game. But um, we also had uh, a game where it was, uh, Toronto played Detroit, it was, uh, the score was seven to two, oh to, uh, seven two Toronto. Detroit came all the way back and made it seven to six, uh, and then Toronto made it eight six, and Detroit made it eight seven. And uh, that was it. That's a fun game to watch, right? Yeah. Are they scoring a lot like mm -hmm. that because usually it's just And then, and then Mitch, Marner, Mitch Marner scored four goals in that game for Toronto too. Oh I, my I, I just shook my head and like, geez, what a game this was, except for goaltenders who, who uh, got destroyed. God, he, you know. oh, the goaltending is crazy. Do they get hurt a lot? Yes, they can get and hurt. And they will wear a neck guard for sure. They have to wear a neck they guard, have yes, to? they have to. So they're covered, they can't get hurt, or can mm -hmm. they? They can still get hurt. They can how? If you do, if you do the splits. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to get a glory You mean pull? their skates go apart and their legs just go yep, straight out? and they don't realize it. They don't? They don't realize it sometimes when they oh, make the splits. Oh, I can't do the splits, so I mean, I could no, never do that. No, don't worry. The, oh, the, goal, the, goalie, the goalie's probably taking up gymnastics classes back in the day. Do you so. think so? I think so. And who, that's the most expensive position to play in hockey, the I goal think, the goalie. Yeah, yeah, because you're, play, you're out there on the ice the entire game, not unlike the players where you get a chance to rest on the bench. Yeah. Now, do you think there's any way that poor people can play hockey? Just saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, you do? There's a way. Because I've heard hockey that clinic. people, like, if, they, if you're really good, they'll, like, donate their goalie stuff or yep. skates Yep, goalie and pads and stuff. Hockey clinic. Yeah, because it's hard. It's a very expensive sport, right? Yes, it is, and, you, and the sacrifice It's from is, the ice time, right, to keep the, you know, yeah, the sacrifice is the sacrifice is no other. God, it's very exciting. Now, who used to be the hockey fan in the family? Your mom, Judy, Birdie? All, who? Every, uh, everybody. Everybody was hockey? Your mom, too? Even my grandfather. He was? Yep, but my aunt, my aunt Judy just calls it the biggest mistake of her life. She does? She does? Judy? Five years old. Yeah, she called, her the, around. she called it the biggest mistake of her life because now she knows I watch hockey every single night. Oh, that's hilarious. When, I can't even I can. believe it. Yeah, that, that's why Will hockey. Will she goes watch with you or no? No, she avoids. What does she watch? Oh, oh crap! Too much, too many too cooking much, shows. Yeah. Too cooking much. shows she does. Oh, good. Maybe too, she'll watch Christina's. No, well, I, I would rather she. Well, no, actually, with basket with the NCAA basketball tournament, maybe she'll have a change of heart for the next couple weeks. Oh, but that when, is but so when, but when we're in Florida, but when we go to Florida, though, don't worry. I'm gonna have my phone on me, so we're gonna be watching basketball while we're waiting in line to get out. Oh, you're gonna have a ball. Are you getting the ride pass where you can get in quick? That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to her about that. That's so. perfect. Two oh, minutes. Two I love minutes, it. All oh, that's the two minute warning. Perfect timing, though. And then <clears> you'll come <throat> on again. We'll have you when when you come back from Florida. Yup. If you're not in. Or mode. or or next or next week. I, Perfect. I got, so I, got, I, got I got Wednesday. I can do again next okay. week. So okay. if you want me to come in next oh, yeah. Wednesday, I, I do have time. And we'll do a couple different teams. Yep. Now, um, so the can Canadians can come over here to play U.S. hockey, though. Yes, they no can. No big deal. <clears throat> no biggie. Okay. Nope. And, and like, what about fans? They have spectators now too, pretty yeah, much. Yes. Okay. Yes, the it. fans are back. It's odd how the COVID just kind of disappeared, isn't it? It's weird. For now. For, well, my sister just said it's rampant in China again. 
I'm like, oh, don't even yeah, go don't there. Don't even go don't there. Don't even go there. <clears> please I'm don't, because I can't it afford. It was already bad enough. I couldn't go to all, it, all, all the basketball games that I could. If we start doing that again, then I'm going to be told, no, I'm not going. No, and you got to check out. So I, you know what I love about Ocean State Joblet? So Kochi's there. So my shoes that I got, gorgeous. They're from Macy's, right? Yeah, the, yeah, they're from much. Macy's. So like everybody's like, oh, I've got Cold Water Creek and I've got J. Jill. I'm like, you can buy it all at Ocean State. Are you out of your mind? So they can, they have brand name everything. My shoes are Donald Plymer, 25 bucks Ocean State. I bet you didn't even think they had $25 shoes there. No, we, we never dreamed of it. <laughs> I mean, I love that place. I love just, you know, don't you just grab a pair of those pajama pants every now and then that are like five no, I don't bucks? Ha I don't have to. My aunt buys pajama pants. Oh, she pants does? For, yeah, she those pajama for pants me. for like seven bucks. You just grab a yeah, few. Yeah, well, it's almost time to put the pajama pants away, away and get the swimsuits out. I know. So we probably have about 30 seconds left. We'll just keep um, shooting the breeze. Bing. Yep. And uh, you'll just close the clips while you're closing the clips. I kind of like it right, like that. Right, yep. So, God, I hope you have good weather for Florida. You're going Well, through. I have to uh, watch the weather because I've I already seen that where people who went down there, um, they got stuck Jeez. in a tornado. There was a tornado? There was a tornado warning, yeah, so they got delayed. Oh, I did not know that. Nope. Oh, but, no. And then the one thing we just have to watch out for is... Um, you know, it's, so it's the timing fun. about getting home because they changed the flight, getting home at 12.53. So I said, oh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, kill it. So Perfect. Yep. Oh, you're going right. to have a great time. Well, we're going to wrap up the show. I've got my Canucks. Yeah. And it's okay to call people a Canuck, right? They love it. Okay. Down in that know. area. Here, Down here's in that my area. Panther. Here we got I gotta, the Panther. I got to finish my white. It's on almost the done. We're doing great here. So I really appreciate you coming on, Coachy. And one day I'll third, come on your third show. Third day's the charm. Yep. I love it. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in for the crack of dawn, and we'll see you next time. I Bye, love folks. it. See you later. Bye. So this is fun. So this. Riverview Apartments is Bristol's two-time beautification award-winning residence community for adults age 55 and older. They offer one or two bedroom apartments with modern appliances, air conditioning, wall-to-wall -wall carpet and tiled floors. Both heat and hot water are included. Riverview also offers a wide range of activity rooms that include a billiard parlor and a spacious community room. It is handicap accessible with safe, secure parking for tenants and ample off-street parking for visitors. 860-940-6757 or riverviewbristol.com.